Praise Master Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you all. Good to be back online. Glory to God. I believe there are living souls with us tonight. Thank you all for always standing by. Thank you all. Uh, call to check on me and making sure that Ambassador Fred is okay. I'm very good. God bless you all. And I believe you have been doing well. God bless you. And I'm tonight, I'm not here alone tonight. My wife is here with me. I believe the Almighty God is going to use us to talk to us tonight. Because the Lord has a word for you today. And today might be that day that the Lord has made for your family and you. That is what you may now. And all I just need you to do tonight is share the broadcast, hit the like buttons co continuously so that Facebook can help us draw traffic to us tonight. And, and I'm not preaching alone tonight. My name is Ambassador Federico Bozo, and tonight with me is my wife. Ambassador Ricky Bozo. All right. I believe God is going to use us tonight to bless a family, to bless an individual. Yes, sir. And when your heart is ready, the Lord is always ready. Yes, sir. The Lord has been ready even before this broadcast. The Lord has been prepared for everyone that is ready to be a part of this broadcast. Get ready tonight. Grace is going to speak for you. Oh, God. I wish somebody understand that word, that statement I just made. Grace would speak for you. Amen. Grace will speak for you. Amen. If you can type it as you're joining immediately, say, Grace will speak for me. Grace, grace will speak for me. This grace week, will speak for grace will speak for me. As you're joining grace. on tonight, I just want you to type, Grace will speak for me. Grace, grace will speak, speak for me. For me. My God, thank Jesus. you. Thank you. Grace will speak for you. I say grace will speak for you. As you are joining tonight, make sure you are sharing and say to yourself, grace will speak for me. Grace will speak for me. Go ahead and type it. Grace will speak for me. Grace will speak for me. Grace will speak for me. For me this week, a koba le gabras ke balabato from a bashabati is a dedo ke dinaga. Grace will speak for you this week. Oh, blessed be your holy name, oh God. Thank you. I I I am hearing so strong that grace will speak for somebody Amen. tonight. Amen. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Make Amen. sure somebody's watching because of you tonight. Amen. And hit the like button so that Facebook will help us draw traffic to this broadcast tonight. Amen. Go ahead and share. Make sure you're inviting Amen. somebody. Thank you, my Father. Grace will speak for somebody tonight. Amen. Oh, blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Amen. Grace will speak for someone tonight. Amen. Oh, I don't know who God is talking to tonight, but as you are coming on board, just go ahead and type, grace will speak for me. Grace as you are joining, speak. just type, grace will speak grace for me. Speak for oh, me. thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Amen. blessed be your holy name. Jesus. Grace will oh, speak Jadaba for me. Oh, Jadaba Loke Zabatia. Amazing grace is the sweetest sound that saves someone like me. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, my Father. Grace will speak for you. Daughter of God, grace will speak for you. Amen. Everyone watching, I hear God say, Grace will speak this week. Amen. This week, grace will speak. 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 Amen. This very Jesus. week, grace will speak for Amen. you. Oh my God, I wish somebody's understanding when grace begins to speak for you. You don't have to be involved. When grace takes over a matter, your effort is blessed. 
But a lot of us, we, we do all this by ourselves, for ourselves. So it, it is always so hectic. And you see when, when, when people begin to labor and there is an embargo on your labor, you, are, you end up in frustration, in confusion, in repeated wonder that if there is God, there is God. All you need is grace in your race in every week. Because the Lord, I don't know why he's saying that grace will speak this week. I don't know about you, but I know when God has said it, I hold on to it. I run with it. I believe in it. So go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure you are sharing the broadcast because of somebody tonight. Go ahead and share. Make sure you share. Don't watch alone. Make sure you share. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Keep hitting the like button. Hit the like button. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. I see grace. Grace, grace, grace. All I see is grace. Grace, grace, grace. I see grace. Grace, grace, grace. All I see is grace. Grace, great grace, I see grace. Grace, 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 all I see is grace. Grace, 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 grace. Oh, I see grace. Grace, great grace, all I see is grace. I decree every day of this week. You will see grace. Amen. I so say you will receive grace today and every day of this week. You will experience grace. Amen. In the name you of will Jesus. experience grace. Amen. You will experience grace. Amen. I decree you will not experience this grace this week. Amen. But you will experience Jesus. grace this week. Amen. In the name Please go Jesus. ahead and share this broadcast. I think I'm noticing there's a network hiccup already, but the Lord is going to touch the network for us right now. And I decree the network will be favorable tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree grace will speak for you this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Better go ahead and share this broadcast. Invite somebody now. Invite somebody. Let somebody watch because of you. Share five times. Share ten times. Go ahead and share. Share it to your groups. Share it to your old friends association or your old school association. I mean to say, make sure you are sharing. Don't watch alone. It will not be a sin against God. It's going to be a sin against your conscience if you are not sharing. So go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Father, we thank you. Thank you, my father. Allah run to lagbara. Oshu bare mare o. Oshu bare mare o. Allah run to lemi wa. Oshuba, Oshuba, eh, Oshuba, remare, oh, Aji, Kolu, Kamba, Okoya, oh, Oshuba, remare, oh, eh, eh, Oshuba, remare, oh, Allah. Father, we 
we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We decree tonight's network be favorable. Amen. I come against every force of the air. I decree that the Lord will take the glory tonight Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I bind every bindable. I lose every losable. Amen. The words of God say, whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. Lord, we bind every fowl of the air. Amen. We bound every activity of witchcraft. Amen. We the name ask of Jesus. that God will be glorified tonight. Amen. And Jesus will be praised. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is awesome. Hallelujah. Jesus will be honored tonight. Hallelujah. Father, come glorify yourself tonight. Thank you, Jesus. And let your name alone be praised. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus, the Son, and give him the glory. Praise be he has done. Father, we ask that your people will be blessed tonight. Amen. Let all you have asked to do in tonight's meeting be done to your glory. Amen. My Father, everyone that is supposed to be here, Father, let them begin to come. Amen. I ask their yeah, coming will not be in vain tonight. Amen. Let someone have a testimony tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. While I was getting ready tonight, as I was resting, the Lord began to give me a scripture that I would love us to um, pray with tonight. Please just make sure you are sharing. Make sure you are sharing. The Lord will bless you as you share. In Jesus' name. Amen. Second Kings chapter number four, verse 27. Second Kings four, verse 27. I'd like to have it on the screen. Yes, sir. Second Kings 4, 27. While I rested my head at the Lord, I was asking, Lord, please, what are you saying? Two things he said to me. The first we are going to be um, saying right now, we're going to be bringing in thoughts because I believe that God is going to be blessing somebody tonight. Amen. And you are one person God is going to bless tonight. Yes, sir. All right. So just get connected. Don't get distracted tonight. I know a lot of people are going through this network um, hiccup right now. So God is going to take the glory still. God will be glorified. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. All right. The Bible says in the book of um, Second Kings 4 and 27. All right. And when she came to the man of God, to the uh -huh. hill, uh -huh. she caught him by his feet. Okay. But Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, let her alone. For her soul is vexed within her. Now, this, this, this statement is strong. Now, if you, you see that, it's, and when she came to the man of God, when she came to the man of God, to the hill, she the, the, the caught him by the feet, and Gehazi came as a protocol to like stop okay. her. And the man of God said something that I want us to pray with. And the last word, he said, and the Lord had hid it from me. 
While I was getting ready, the Lord said, we should ask him to show us the coming week and the coming month. Mm. Now, this prayer, not everybody will need it. But if you are the kind of person that know how to invest in prayers, you will love this prayer. I, I remember many time, years ago, I used to pray, pray, Lord, whatever that wants to happen tomorrow, show me today. God loves you so much, he can show you. If your heart is fixed on him, if you trust God that much, whatever that should happen to you tomorrow, God will show you either through dreams or through a revelation or through an open vision or through his servant. Now, some of us are wondering why some men of God don't um, call their case. Most times you come online and just believe the man of God will call you because he sees your name on the, on the, on the scrolling or the comment section. No. There are times that when you come prepared and say, God, tonight, use this man of God I'm seeing to bless me. When you say such words, I believe the man of God can bless you. Hallelujah. God. The man of God can bless you. So I want you to understand that the almighty God can surely bless you tonight. If only you can connect to this meeting. Now, the Bible said, the man of God said, the Lord has not showed me this. The Lord has not showed That means there are certain things God will not show a man of God. Until you ask. Don't forget, he said, ask and you shall receive. So if you don't ask for certain things, God believes you don't need them. This is Matthew 7, 7. Yes. All right? He said, ask and you shall what? Receive. receive. So when you refuse to ask, now some people may not understand this prophetic prayer. is a prophetic prayer. This prayer is a prophetic prayer. Now, not, not, not everybody will understand such prayer because I'm telling you the truth, it's a prophetic prayer. Now, Elijah said, the Lord has not showed me this. That's to say, there are certain things God will not show you until you ask. Give me uh, um, Matthew 7, 7. Give me Matthew 7, 7. So we can understand this truth and this fact. Many a times, a lot of us just believe God should know. God should understand. God, you know I'm going through this. God, you know I'm suffering. God, you know this. God, if you don't ask the Lord... He assumes you are okay. God believes you are okay until you ask him. That's what the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. So a lot of us today, we are not asking, but we just believe God should understand that we are going through this. Some of you don't feel like, God, can't you see? Now, God sees that. But God has already seen he has already made all things possible, all things available for you. So when you refuse, so when you refuse to ask the Lord, God assumes you are okay, or either you are maybe you are seeking help from somewhere. Hallelujah. So in the coming months, we are going to be receiving so much miracles. But the fact remains that if you don't ask, you will not receive. Is the truth. If you don't ask, you will not receive. In fact, you cannot receive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. If you are not asking, you cannot what? Receive. Until you ask, that's when you will receive. Many of us are deceived because we don't believe God understands what I'm going through. God, you know I need a job. God, you know I'm looking for a job. Now look at what the Bible says in the book of Matthew 7, 7. It says, Acts, number one, and it shall be given you. you. That means you that is refusing to ask, you will not receive. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, and it shall be given you. given you. Seek. Now, you are looking for a job. He said, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be open. So, now, all this needs your what? Action. If you refuse to do all this, please don't expect anything from God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God said to me, the second thing the Lord said to me, the first thing he said, pray that I show you what is to come. Because this tomorrow is still secret. 
Tomorrow is still hidden. No matter the plans you have for tomorrow, if God does not permit you to see tomorrow, all those plans, um, all those plans will never work. Now, let me say this to some of you watching me now. Some of you have appointments tomorrow. Some of you have um, your own duty tomorrow. Now, you that duty can only be possible if you are alive. Now, if you are not alive, now let me shock you. Some of you, if you are not alive tomorrow morning, somebody else will do your job. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. They, you can be on a roster. Something happens to you. <coughs> excuse me. Something happens to you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Tomorrow morning, if they don't see you, somebody else, in fact, in the adventure, what they call it, they say standby. Yes, sir. So in case you don't come, somebody will take over. So I thought they should love you so much so that in case you don't come, the company should close down. No, life goes on. So that's why we are going to deal on this. These two things we are going to be dealing on. I've told you number one, because we should ask you what is to come this week and what you are expecting the coming months. So these two ways we are going to be taking these prayers. Then the second thing the Lord said to me, he said, tell them it's their season. So I want you to type in, it's my season. Go ahead and type in the comment section, it's my season. It's my season. Now let me say this to you, a lot of us have been going through season of tears. Some of us have been going through season of tears. The Lord said to me, I heard him so clear. He said, tell them it's their season. And the coming month, he said, it will be their season of anything they desire. Some of you just want it to be a season of laughter for you. It's a season where you make money. Anything you want, it will be as you have asked. Don't forget Matthew 7, 7. If you don't ask, God assume you are okay. If you don't seek, God assume you are okay. If you don't knock, God assume you don't need that door. So stop this assume, assume, assumption, sorry, that a lot of people believe God is seeing me now. God know, you know I don't have a job. God, you know, you know, you know, if you don't open that door, God said, No, don't imagine the door to be open. Go and knock the door. Say knock and you shall be open. Don't imagine the door. So we are going to be handing these two sections before we go tonight. We're not going to spend so much time, but I want this to be a blessing to the few tonight. Please, as the broadcast is going on, just keep sharing. The Lord will bless you. Amen. As you share, God will bless you. Amen. Share it on your Jesus. WhatsApp status. Share it so that somebody can click on your WhatsApp status and join us. Make sure you are putting this. Copy the link. Put it on the WhatsApp status so that somebody can join us. Now, the first prayer, like I said, is going to be taken from um, um, Second Kings four twenty-seven. We have read from. Can you put it up, put it up on the screen again? Second Kings 4 27. I'm telling you, God is serious about what I'm saying. A lot of us may not understand this, uh, this, this truth because God can show you what will happen this week. Yes, God can do that. God can do that. So many of us we are too distracted, we are too um too busy to even see what God is saying. A lot of us are not seeing what God is saying. Yes. You have to see what he's saying before you see or before you partake of what he has said. Hallelujah. So it's your season. It's your season, said the Lord, of course. It's your season and you will enjoy it. You will experience God in this season. Amen. You are going to experience the almighty God. I tell you, you would experience God. You will experience God. You will experience God. The Bible said, and when she came to the man of God. Hallelujah. The Bible said in 2 Kings 4, verse 27, we are going to be taking our prayers from now. He said, and when she came to the man of God, to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gehazi came there to trust her away. And the man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. And the Lord hid it from me. That's where we are going to pray tonight. He said, the Lord hid it, number one. Yes, sir. Then the second thing that he said, and had not told me. Now, tomorrow is hidden from you. Yes, sir. 
This week is hidden from a lot of us, even me. Next month is hidden. July is hidden. August is hidden. But God can show it to you. Oh, God. I think tonight, the Lord said to me, he says, it's going to be El Zabala He says, it's going to be seven nights of the prophetic. July. It's a seven nights of prophecy. And I said, Lord, am I going to be prophesying? He said, he said, that would be the team. Seven nights of prophecy. My season is now. Now, some of you just need to be desperate and deliberate this time. Because I don't know why God is hammering of Matthew 7, 7. He said, ask. He said, ask me for rain. Ask me for rain. So that means if you don't ask God for rain, you may never experience rain. The rain of miracles, the rain of blessings, the rain of uh, the, the rain of, um, of of breakthroughs, the rain of testimonies, you may never experience it until you ask. So we are going to ask the Lord, Lord, whatever is hidden this week, open my eyes to see it. Oh Amen. my God. Please type this prayer for that. We are going to take it serious. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. By your mercy. By your mercy. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. To see what is hidden in this week. To see what is hidden. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. To see anything hidden. To see anything hidden. From me this week. Me this open, my eyes open my eyes to see anything that is hidden from me this week. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. Zonte Pando Pando Crabbe Dopa and Lepa de Zuzo Praka Rabando Shepraka in Doponga in Doponga Roma Casopra Catoba and Delpa Sude Toba Yande or Roma Cotoba and Lika Parana. Rotashoba, John Tedde, a copy tambo desa, on to beko do, raden zopa, not open my eyes, to see katobaya, rosha tega, ate, bonka, bonka, tebo, do reparuza, do reparuza, e kombate, o me, o karino, o kario, ane, zubendo, o kashuda, me tombe indo, zozante, abadope, abadope, o karo, in Jesus name of prayer. Amen. A lot of us may not understand this prayer, but the Lord is still insisting that it is what they need this week. There are certain places God will open your eyes to see before you go there. Now, there are people that are victims of circumstances. You know why? Because their eyes were closed. Their spiritual eyes were dim. They could not see. Now, let me say this to you. That it, it, now, actually, the man called, the prophet called Isaac would have not given that blessing to um, Jacob. Because why? And maybe his eyes were still um, good. good, or his eyes could still see, he would have not done that. Yes, sir. Now, because the Bible says his eyes were dim. So that means he took advantage of his father's sight. Now, there are some of you that the enemies can take advantage of you not seeing what they are doing behind the scene. Mm. This meeting is a prophetic meeting. I wish you can understand. God bless you. First time watch, uh, watching um Sahada too. God bless you from Ghana. The Lord bless you. Watch you from Ghana. God bless you. God bless you. I pray for you tonight. God will open your eyes to see your secret Amen. battles. Who is firing it? I don't know why I'm hearing this. Uh, I'm sorry to the Lord. I should tell you that tonight 
your dreams, you begin to remember your dreams. Amen. The There's an arrow that has been fired to your dream life in confusion. You are always not understanding your dream. That's even right. though you know you dream, but you can't remember them. I'm talking to Sada to right now. The Lord says he wants to visit you in the area of your dreams. I don't know if I'm if, if what I'm saying that that's what I'm hearing concerning Sahada too. He said in the area of dreams, you hardly remember your dreams, and even though you remember, it is scattered. Mm -hmm. Why? It's an arrow that was shot against your dream life. Uh, now, everyone under the sound of my voice, if such things has been done to you, it will be undone Amen. now. I said, the Lord will undo it Amen. now. Sahada too. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, Sahada too? I need you to confirm this. Okay, okay, exactly true, man of God, because I see the Lord just said to me, they fired an arrow to you. You sleep, actually. Most times you sleep early, and most times you hardly even sleep. Now, it's like you always look for how to sleep. You, you look for how to sleep. Most times you can be awake. You are not praying. You can just be awake for hours at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. You just find yourself, you just can't sleep. And most times you are confused. Okay, yes, please. Whenever I dream, always vanishes. It's an arrow that was shot against you. I'm telling you, but tonight, God will open your eyes. You will see. God will show you things. That The Lord is saying, woman of God, there are a lot of people going through the same thing. The Lord says it's an arrow, and I decree that arrow will go back to the sender. Amen. I said that arrow will go back to the sender. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Second Kings, chapter four, verse twenty-seven, where we read from, yes, He said, "The Lord has hid it from me. The Lord has not told me. The Lord has hid it from me." That means He was angry. I think if God told him that, He would have the woman would have not even gone through that loss. Mm. Don't forget, she just lost her only son. That son is the son of prophecy. Some of you, the prophecy given to you, are the Lord is saying that, that people's dreams are being restored. Amen. Your dream life is being restored. Share this broadcast. Oh, my cobra, 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 cobra. If I had dreams, if I didn't write down before I wake up, it's an attack. It's an attack. But after tonight, the Lord just said to me, after tonight, no more, no more, no more, no more. Everyone suffering from that, the Lord said it has come to an end today. Tonight, it comes to an end. Now, the Lord said, the, uh, Elisha was saying, he said to Gehazi, the Lord has not shown me this. Life. It was hidden from him. It was hidden from him. Some of you don't feel that, man of God, can't you see what I'm going through? That sometimes, I need to let you know this, uh, that God needs to hide certain things from some men of God. Yes, most times you say, oh, why is it man of God did not see this? God hides things from them. Until the man of God make an inquiry, until the man of God access the Lord, that's when the Lord will reveal it to the man of God. Yes, sir. Now, the next prayer we are going to praise is, Father, show me what the natural eyes cannot see. Ah, oh, yeah, brother. Now, I want to say this to you. I want to, now, some years ago, about is it five years ago, dear about, I used to pray this prayer. Lord, show me what the natural eyes cannot see. Ah, Do you know when you are operating this realm, you don't even need a pastor. You don't need a prophet. So if you go can just open your eyes to see people. If there's one gift I enjoy, if you are lying around me, I'll be looking at you. There are certain things I want to happen to some people. I tell my wife that this will happen. This will happen. I see them ahead. It's a grace. And the Lord said he wants to release that grace tonight. I'm telling you, God wants to release this grace. Amen. What the natural eyes cannot see, God will show you. Amen. Oh, God. Who is ready to receive this grace? Yeah. Who wants this grace? Who wants this grace? If everybody is operating this grace, man, there is no... See, all this one, a man of God collect my money, did not pray, pray that. You don't, they don't need all that. The spirit of discernment will be there. We'll be there. Now, some of you want God to show you everything. God knows that if he shows you everything, there are some of you, you will cause trouble. Oh, my Lord, brother. God knows that if he allows you to say certain things, ah, there will be trouble. Oh, some people like, oh, I want God to be showing me what my wife is doing. <laughs> now, let me tell you that one. Do you know, some of the time, the devil can manipulate you to see, see nonsense. Yes, sir. When the devil knows once you... 
not, a lot of us want to like, everybody wants to keep prophesying. I want to see this. Everybody's a seer now. Now the devil can corrupt what you will see. Do you remember about 700 prophets? All of them came with a, with a prophecy. That only one, Mikai, came and said the truth. But every other person, that, they didn't know that the spirit of the spirit of lies left the presence of the Lord. And they asked, the Lord said, How can I deal with this man? No. And the Bible said, The spirit of lie came to meet God. He said, Send me to see this man, to go to war so that he will die there. Now, not everything you see is God. Please share this broadcast. Everybody share this broadcast. I am giving you a first class, or should I call it an update? I'm giving you an update today. If you can pray this prayer every day, God will show you mercy. God will open your eyes by his mercy. There are things you will not waste your money on again. I'm telling you the truth. It's an update. I'm telling you it's an update. Now you're going to pray, Father. What's the prayer point? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray tonight, As I begin to pray tonight open my eyes to see open my eyes to what see. the natural eyes cannot see. What my natural eyes cannot see. Open my eyes to see. Yeah. Open your mother to the prayer. The Bible said the book of Revelation. He said, We are not my eyes with eyes that I may see. Open your mind and pray. So, Lord, open my eyes to see what the natural eyes cannot see. Ask God to open your eyes by His mercy. Open your eyes. Somebody type that prayer and pray. You need that prayer. In the coming week, you need it. There are certain things God needs to open your eyes to see. Oh, my God. I wish you understand this prayer. God can open your eyes to see. He saying, we anoint your eyes with eyes that you may see. Dekina monka baruka zea, likote kabe laba laba topa lata, injobe kubele do bila sute, ayaya kebe kubelenga, orependo orependo, ale boko seba liketena liketena ine kabonde, ole braka seba kemo, ande koba ande kozoba, aki bole aki bole roba kaba. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Ale boko so brakera, are boko so braka, ame koma ale broku zala, ma azi kesa, ma azi kesa, ole moko brati zaka, ejombe kaba. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Now hear this Revelation three verse eighteen. Give us, give it to us. I don't know why God is sending me to do this. I'm telling you, a lot of you, your eyes will be open tonight. Amen. There are certain people God will show you before you go to the office tomorrow. God will just, you just have a dream about your office. I'm telling you, you will return with a testimony. Amen. There are some of you this week, every day, before you go to the office, you don't open my eyes to see what will happen. I didn't get, get ready. I didn't get, this will be an order. God will be showing you things in the office before you get there. Amen. Can somebody share this broadcast? I'm telling you, God bless you, Sister um, Princess Damola David. Oh, God bless you. And, uh, and I saw um, other people also. Some of you just need to understand tonight is a prophetic night. God wants to make you a prophet. Now, let me talk to you, woman of God. Everybody is a prophet. Yes, sir. Every one of you is a prophet. But most of you are not called into the office of a prophet. There's an office of a prophet, but as you are a child of God, you are supposed to see. Revelation 3, verse 18. Can I have it on the screen? Yes, sir. Revelation 3, 18. I don't know why. Now, these, these are prayers that men of God 
people uh, pray for themselves or men of God are praying. But I don't know why God is saying, I want to release the spirit upon people. God wants to release, release the prophetic grace upon people. Yes, sir. Anyone that wants to see, you will see. Listen, you are the first prophet of your life. It's because you are not saying anything. That's why you can take everything. Mm. Oh, someone did not get that. Somebody tell me, because I'm not saying anything. Because I'm not saying anything. That's why I'm not seeing anything. That's why I'm type saying it. Anything. Type it. Because I'm not saying anything. Because I am not saying anything. That's why I'm not seeing anything. That's why I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I wish someone can type that. Because you are not saying anything. That's why you are not seeing anything. Go ahead and type it. God bless you all that is watching. Frank Akin today, God bless you. Sonanto Chuku, God bless you. Ihana Benedita, God bless you. Luwa Sheidanas, God bless you. Everybody, can I have that scripture on the screen right now? Oh, palabro se Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because I'm not saying anything. That's why some of you are just waiting for God to bring it to you. Most time, God wants you to say something. And you, I want you to type, I will say something. I will say something. Oh, I, I will say something. I will say something. Now, because you have refused to say anything, that's why you're not seeing anything. Oh, yes. That's the truth. Now, the Bible said, in the book of, I'm not seeing on the screen, please. It said, I counsel it to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white remains, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shape of thy nakedness, sorry, the shape of thy nakedness do not appear. He said, this is where I'm going to now. This is where I'm going to now. The, the, the last part of it. He said, and anoint thy eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. God wants to anoint your eyes so that you can see. Can we take the other prayer now? Can you type this prayer? It's very important. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray now. As I begin to pray. By your mercy. By your mercy. Anoint my eyes. Anoint my eyes. So that I can see. So that I can see. Anoint my eyes. Anoint my eyes. So that I can see. That my father, my father, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, I begin to anoint, pray. My anoint my eyes that I may see. Open oh, your mouth and turn into prayer. Make sure you are typing it and you are praying it. I don't know who God wants to open their eyes to begin to see. There are certain things that God will open your eyes to see before it happens to your children. That the reason why a lot of us are going through what we go through is because we have not seen it before it happened. But if you can see it before you, it happens, you can arrest it. Yes, what you see, you can arrest. Yes, what you see, you can address. Yes, when you address, when you arrest, you address. Sir. The reason why certain things happen to people uh, is because they have not seen it. Uh. Now, when you know that this is about to happen to your daughter, you know how to pray. Uh. What some things ha something happened some days ago. Uh, my, my wife, uh, we woke up early in the morning. All of a sudden, something was happening, and my wife saw it in my daughter. She addressed it. Uh. We addressed it. Now, if her eyes were not open, we would have never seen that. So you need to understand that the reason why you are going through what you are going through is because you have not seen it. The reason why they ate your money is because you did not see it. Now, I said this before. What is hidden from a man of God cannot be solved. Until you ask God to use this man of God to see your case. Some of you just go, oh, this is my spiritual father. But have you ever said, Lord, Show my father. Show my spiritual father. If you are too worried to see it, Lord, show this man of God. Now, I'm telling you, when God showed the man of God what is covering you, your recovery has become. Yes, sir. Your blessings are covered. Your miracles are covered. The enemy has failed to cover them. The enemy's the assignment is to cover. 
so that you can never recover. But I pray for someone watching me tonight, uh, as the Lord gives the grace upon me, uh, as the Lord has released the grace upon me, uh, as you desire, uh, as you say, oh God, uh, open the eyes of your servant to see. Uh, yes, I remember one time the same, um, the same man, I think it was Gehazi, he was scared, and the Lord said, uh, the master said, uh, oh Lord, open his eyes to see. Uh, yes. They that be for us are uh, uh, more than oh, if God can open people. your eyes to see uh, oh, the kind of oh, angels oh, are following you. Uh. Oh, no, I remember oh, one story of a little girl uh, when they wanted to uh, I think, attack her. She just said, as from the scripture, touch her a word, uh, Lion of Judah, yes, Lion yes. of Judah, appear. And the little girl said, Lion of Judah, appear. a lion appeared. Hi. It's because you have not seen it. I don't know why God is wanting people. Listen, you don't need to be a pastor to prophesy on yourself. You don't need a special ordination to see things. There are some of you, the Lord just said to me now, thank you, Spirit of God, thank you, Spirit of God. The Lord just said to me, about nine people here, nine, ma, he said, the, the, the enemy knows that anything they dream, it will happen. They began to corrupt their dreams. Oh, my God. There are some of you watching me now. Anything you dream, it happens. But right now, you can't even dream anymore. You know why? It has been corrupted. You are going to pray. Lord, any power that has been assigned to corrupt my dream life, ah, every God. power that has been assigned to corrupt my dream life. Now, instead of you to be seeing what we work for you, you are seeing what we work against you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Some of you, if you dream and tell your husband, your husband will be saying, ah, please, my wife, pray. But right now, what you see is nonsense. Why? The enemy has corrupted it. We are going to pray. Lord, any area that my dream has been corrupted. Any area, Lord, that my dream has been corrupted. Lord, by your mercy. Lord, by your mercy. Let it be corrected tonight. Let it be corrected. Can you type it and turn it to prayer? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Any area. Any area. That my dreams have been corrupted. That my dream has been corrupted. By your mercy. By your mercy. Correct it tonight. Correct it Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Rokoto baranda sopaya. Intestena zopela braka. Raponte ene monza baraka toba. Araba kosha braka tea. Any area of my life that my dream has been corrupted. Oh Lord, by your mercy, let it be corrected tonight. The Mando Barosha car, he may put the Naka, a Nobra Abara Zokatoba, a Gepo Koto Baya, a Zembo Sopre Kano Koba, a Lebro Koto Brakata, Prokoto 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 Brakata, Zoza, a Mono Cabanda, a Mono Cabanda, a Mono Cabanda, a Lesia Santa, a Lesia Data, a Lomotoba, a Lomotoba. A barakoto, a barakoto, a bariasa, a bariasa, me sombega, me sombega, i peno kuba, i peno kuba, baroko sopra kato me na garo zakati, ande ashada, ande ashada, ande ashada, eko joba, eko joba, ma kubeka, me ne sobre, me ne sobre, asiata, asiata, ekato baya, ekato baya, ekato baya, ane boko, thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord says, we listen to speak the gift, a fresh gift for dreams. Amen. Oh my God. Receive this one. Amen. God is releasing a fresh dreams. A fresh gift for dreams. Amen. It is fresh. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. Amen. He said, there are some of you who are going to be receiving open visions. Ihena Benedita, get ready. Open visions. Amen. Sometimes you need to even call to say, man of God, I didn't understand, but I just saw this. God is going to be showing you open visions. Get ready. Get ready. 
open visions, open Amen. visions. Azizo pratila, mekopra kazopra, eliba la bataya. God will show you to show it to you before it happens. Amen. Oh my God, before evil happens, I will not prophesy on somebody. Before the evil happen, God will show you. Amen. Oh my God. I said before the evil happen, God will show you. Amen. I said before that evil happen, God will show you. Amen. If you can type it, before the evil happen, before the God evil will happen. show me. God will show me. Before the evil happen, the evil will God happen. will show me. Will show Somebody me. type it, before the before evil happen, God will show me. Will you show are prophesying me. on yourself before already. Say, before the happen. evil will happen, God will show me. Ah, I wish you could understand that word. Before the evil will happen, God will show you. It's a prophecy. I want you to receive it. Type it, type it, type it. Before the evil happen, God will show me. Before the evil happen, God will show me. Before the evil will happen in my house, God will show you. This week, this month, this year, everything that wants to happen, God will show you. I said, God will show you. May God be like that, brother. Before the evil will happen in that office, God will show you. Before the evil will happen to your car, God will show you. Before the evil will happen to your wife, God will show you. Before you climb that aircraft, God will show you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you understand this. I wish you understand. Before the evil happen, man to buy the barose. Lord, this is what you are saying. Let your people see this way. Before it happens, God will show you. Before it happens, God will show me. Before it happens, God will show me. Before it happens, God will show me. Concept the people that are connected to this grace. Lord, open my eyes to see before the evil happen. Lord, open my eyes to see, oh Lord. Mante Polo Kapada. Jesus name. Amen. The Lord just said to me that he says, Son, he said, The days coming are evil. Mm. That's what he's saying to me now. He says, Son, because I'm wondering why God is saying this. He says, He says, Son, the days coming are evil, so I need to show them before mm. it happens. Now, can I say this to you? If you know. Like just take this for example. Yes, sir. You are about to go out and you had a dream that your tire was flat. Mm. And you woke up, you came out in the morning, you saw actually your tire was flat. Mm. While you were trying to fix it, all of a sudden you just saw that your car ran into a ditch. Now, all those now you have you had a dream, you didn't get that sign. Mm -hmm. You are about to pray prayer now. You didn't. You didn't succumb to that sign. Then the next thing you saw that open vision, like ah, uh, you just saw a car run into a ditch. That's on that sign. Mm -hmm. Then you see insisted to put the spare tire. As you were going, the kick did not start. How many signs now? Three signs. Now you saw a dream. One. Some of us are very stubborn. That's what the Holy Spirit is teaching me. This is telling me to tell you somebody this. You saw the first time a dream. You didn't. You didn't succumb to it. Now you saw a vision like a car went to the ditch. You didn't succumb to it. Then now you change the tire. You are start, you are you try to start the car. The kick is not started. Mm -hmm. What is the next prayer point? Father, this week, may I be flexible to what you will show me. In the name of Jesus. Now, you most of you don't understand tonight's broadcast. Oh God. May I be flexible to see, to understand the signs. When you are speaking to me. Mm. Now, there are some of you, you some of you like when you hit your right leg, some of those, those are very superstitious things. And so when you hit your left leg, it's uh, bad, bad news, right? That's what I hear people say. That when you hit your right leg, it's something good. Stop all that. The devil will not even work with that. You are going to pray, Lord. Let me be flexible. May I not be too stubborn when you are speaking to me. Through dreams, through visions, yes, through things around me. Some of you are see, there is somebody the Lord just said to me, This I am explaining that has happened to somebody. Yes, sir. 
we already have the scenario of say ah and i saw it maybe and, and yes they, they, they call it i didn't take it now, do, do you know what gets me angry satan will always give you a very good english word says deja vu oh deja vu what's the vu? it is witchcraft leave that thing some of us are too stubborn when god is showing us signs so if it was like, oh, that you were, when, when you were about to take off, the plane was going like this, going like, going like and as soon as you entered the aircraft, there was turbulence. See, you don't understand tonight. God can show you anything. Anything. Now, I'm telling you us why a lot of us, I wish a lot of us can, can, can be a part of tonight's meeting. But so many people are not here tonight. Mm. Tonight is like God is releasing gifts on the people. Yes. So share, call your wife, call your husband. Let somebody join us tonight. Yes. Because God is going to be showing certain things. Oh, you remember, you remember our, our neighbor before? Yes, sir. If God has shown that woman that if she's going to, if she beats that little child, something will happen to her. She would have not beat that child one day. Yes, that day. Sir. Yes, sir. A woman, this is a true life story. She beat a girl, a small right? Girl. A small yeah, girl. Instantly, she went down. Started using clutches. Can I shock you? Satan will not use a very loud thing to bring somebody down. Mm. Very minor thing. Very minor thing. Now, Samson had all the signs. Samson had all the signs, but it was very stubborn. Can you type a father? I will not be too stubborn this week. Amen. I will not be too stubborn the coming months. Mm. Not to understand signs when you are talking to me. Mm. There are some men that are very stubborn. You know, I don't even blame the men, but the wives are too very stubborn too. The wives are too stubborn for God to use them. Yes. Remember the, the, the is it Pontius Pilate now? He said, take your hands off this water. Yes. And the man brought water, they washed it yes. And even the wife did not see it to God. What about Abigail? Yes. So women, instead of them to say, God, use me to see for my husband. He said, they want to catch their husband in crime. The time for them to use to catch, catch the witch that is after their home. Now, a great woman of God, James Rush wife said, a woman, if the a woman, what is the one she said? He said, A woman is the reason why evil can enter a home. If yes. she opened the door, yes. yes, not the man, not the man. Anything happening in the home is the woman that permitted it. I was so happy when the woman was saying that. Yes, it's not of you to be CID to catch all the witches and wizards. You are CID on your husband's phone. <laughs> it's not for women tonight. Lord, may I not be too stubborn? Ah, Amen. Can somebody pray that prayer? Father, no, if, now, do you know there are sometimes men of God will talk to some people. They will not still be stubborn. Sorry, they will still be stubborn. Sorry, still be stubborn. God will say, my son, don't do this. My son, if a man of God will say, do this, they will say, oh, they, are, they think they are, they are smart. May I not be too stubborn? When you are warning me, Lord, may I not be stubborn? Ah! Hey, may I not be stubborn to science? Amen. May I not be stubborn to spiritual warnings? Amen. May I not be too stubborn? Well, there are some of you, your husband will say, calm down, calm down. That's when you are, when they are telling you calm down, that's when fire will be entering your head. More. There are some men, they'll say, my husband, take time, take time, be careful this person. That's when you want to show you a man. Ah, he could be a person. Dead, yeah, I just spoke Yoruba. In Iku, is it? Iku uh, Iku I don't even know how that word came to my ears. Uh, Iku Pe. Iku will not call you in Jesus' name. Amen. Death will not call you in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are going to Jesus. pray that prayer again. Now, one thing I saw, he said, leave her alone. He said, the Lord has not shown me this. It has been hidden from me. No, he first said, it has been hidden from me. It now said, the Lord has not shown me this. You are going to pray, Father, by your mercy. Show me everything I need to know this Thank week. You. Show me all Lord, I need to mercy. understand. Show me all I need to Show me all I need to know. You can still know and not understand. Yes, sir. Oh, God. This is a, it's like this is a prophet meeting. Listen. If God can answer this prayer, some of you, you don't need, you don't need a pastor. 
You don't need a pastor to just say, oh, um, you don't need a pastor to show you anything or to see anything for you. That's what I mean. You need a pastor. Hallelujah. So what I'm trying to say, there are certain things that God will just show you. You don't even need to just disturb anybody. Lord, show me what I need to know this week. And show me what I need to understand. If you don't know, you can't understand. And some of you, you don't understand because you don't know. Oh, God. You don't understand because you don't know. And you don't know, that's why you don't understand. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the help of the Spirit of God, the Lord will show you what you need to know. Amen. The Lord will show you what you need to know and you will understand it. Amen. I'm praying for someone now. I said this week, God will show you what you need to know. Amen. And you will understand. Amen. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know who the Lord is sending me to tonight. The almighty God I should tell you. He will show you what you need to know this Amen. week. And you will understand it. Amen. I said you will, he will show you Amen. and you will understand it. Amen. As he will show you, Amen. and you will understand Amen. it. Huh? I pray for someone this week. Huh? Your children will not walk into a trouble. Huh? You will not walk into trouble. Huh? You will not walk into the, the trap. Huh? God will show you ahead. Amen. God will show your children ahead. Amen. God will show your wife ahead. Amen. God will show your husband ahead. Amen. You will not walk into trouble. You will not walk into timely death. You will not walk into untimely death. You will not walk into what? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, thank you, Spirit of God. You know what the Lord just reminded me now? If, if this man had known that it was a letter of death, they gave him to go and give um, David's man. He will not carry it. Uriah. Yes, sir. Uriah did not know. They handed him over his death warrant. Now, let me show you. Letter bomb did not start from now. Not the Legiwa time. Letter bomb started from the Bible days. The Bible said, and David wrote and gave it to Uriah. Uriah carried it with Zan and went to meet, uh, what's his name now? Oh, this David's man. I've forgotten his name now. He went to give it to him. As soon as Oh, Holy Spirit wanted to remind me his name now. Is it Joab? And it's Joab. So he took the letter and went to give him. As soon as he read it, read it, the Bible said, and David wrote the letter. He said, put him in the hottest part of the battle. He should put him in the front. He should put him in the front. Where, where the sniper can see him. He took his own letter. Ha! If God can open your eyes to see, can somebody hit the like button? Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. We have a few minutes to go. Just keep hitting the like button. Don't stop hitting the like button. Thank you, my father. Thank you. Thank you, my father. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Bible says, and he took the letter, went to give it to him. And the Bible said, he did not tell him the content of the letter. Mm. He took the letter and implemented it. This week, the Lord just said to me, they want to give somebody a letter. It's not a good letter I'm saying. That letter, I seize it in the realms of the spirit. Amen. That letter, that query letter, that query letter, they want to, they want to exchange what is to come with a query letter. I decree, I call upon the God that reveal, reveal all things. That letter will not be released to you. Amen. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Lord. So much the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Talk to me. Talk to me. The Lord said I should tell somebody he was watching here. I don't know who is about to travel this month end. I don't know who you are. You are traveling this month end. You have already prepared for it. The Lord said, I need to pray for you. If you are the person, I need to talk to you. I have a few minutes, about 20 minutes thereabouts. 
So please, I want to take advantage of it. If you are traveling, I'm seeing the month end. I don't know why I'm seeing 219, 29th. I'm seeing 29th, 30. I'm seeing about three days to the end of the month. I don't know who you are. I need to pray for you. Spirit of God, yeah. please, if you are the person, I need to pray for you. I don't know who is traveling three days to the end of this month. That's what I'm hearing. Please, if you are the person, I need to pray for you. I need to pray for you. Father, I pray for total restoration. Amen. Let there be a total recovery. Amen. Upon Yvonne, Amen. I pray. Lord, whatever that is hidden to the eyes of the doctors, to the eyes of the medical practitioners, let it be exposed and revealed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody is traveling this. So this week is the month end. Yes, sir. And I don't know who this person is. I need to pray for you. The Lord just said to me, somebody's about to sing this song. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord I see between now and Tuesday, the Lord is handing a letter to somebody. And I see this person say, what I've been praying for, what I've been waiting for has come to pass. I don't know who has that prophecy. Receive it right now in Amen. the name of Amen. Jesus. I see between now and Tuesday, somebody's going to be testifying and singing the song. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we've been waiting for has come to pass. See what the Lord has. There's some of the Lord said your your child is not dull. Your child is not dull, but your child has been experiencing certain dreams, but. You've not given the child room to speak to you. But you are complaining that the child, something about the child's grade. The Lord said that, please, oh, thank you, Spirit of God. I'm hearing the Lord say, I should tell this person that give attention to your child by hearing that child out. By hearing that child out. By hearing that child out. You need to ask that child certain question that if the child understand dreams. Because that child is having an encounter that is not of God. Mm. And that's the reason why the child seems dull. That child is very brilliant. It's the enemy that is messing with the child through dreams. Now, before the child goes to school, he sees all kind of things in the dream. Yes. To you, you feel this cartoon. It's not cartoon. There's an encounter just to make that child mess up in, in their education. The Lord is revealing tonight. The Lord reveals to redeem. I decree that child is redeemed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sandra, I saw, where's my daughter? Sandra, I saw it. Where is she? Sandra, I saw it. Where's my daughter? Are you watching? The Lord says she released the grace for astounding wisdom upon her. Sandra, I saw it. Are you there? Tobe lahare pila hasiba. Okay, here's my daughter. The Lord said I should release the, 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 the spirit of wisdom upon her and her standing performance. 
the spirit of wisdom. Tell her, I said, the Lord is releasing the spirit of wisdom upon her, the spirit that makes her prefer among her equals. Amen. The hand of God is upon her. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Spirit of Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Someone say, it's my season. It is my season. The Bible said in the book of John, chapter number five, a man was waiting for his season for 38 years until Jesus came. Some of you have been waiting for your season of settlement. Era of marital settlement, financial settlement, is a season that must come. The Lord said your season for financial settlement has come. I pray for somebody, your season for financial settlement has come. Your season for uh, marital settlement has come. Amen. The Lord is saying there is somebody, you just left a season of complaints. Uh, so many things have been happening. Well, the Lord said there's a new season that is coming. Uh, there's a new season that is coming. Yes, One thing that fights your season is called delay. One thing that fights your season is so, called delay. And so I uh in my in my hold on. God bless you, daughter. I decree fresh wisdom. Amen. And God is giving you the spirit of wisdom, Amen. and you'll be preferred among your equals. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 52, that Jesus increased in wisdom and in favor with God. So I decree with men, I decree you'll find favor. Oh, daughter, the Lord said a teacher has been picking at you. A soy, a soy, a soy. I don't understand. I'm seeing, I don't know why there's a teacher in your school. I don't understand this. But the Lord said you will find favor with all your teachers. Mm -hmm. You will find favor with all three one from Amen. now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be intimidated in school anymore. Amen. No one can intimidate you. Amen. You will be one of the best Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. says the Lord. Now, 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 hear this. The Bible said in John chapter 5, it said the man was there for 38 years, but the spirit of delay denied him his season. Now, the Lord wants me to tell somebody here that the spirit of delay will not deny your season. Amen. Oh, my Amen. God. Oh, my God. You are supposed to be enjoying so much. You are supposed to be enjoying so much. The Lord said, we are entering the first half of the second half. Now, we are entering the first half of the second half. From July, from the month of July, the Lord said, I should tell somebody that July will not lie. Amen. July will not Jesus. lie. Amen. Somebody type it, July will not lie. July will not lie. Somebody type it, July will not lie. July will not if lie. God is God, we will know by July. There are some of you that by July, you will carry your testimony as an evidence. Amen. Hear me and hear the well. The reason why every season comes every year. There's rainy season. There's dry season. There's winter season. Hallelujah. So there are some of you today, your season has been coming and going. But the Lord had me to tell you that is what you need. Because you are here tonight, July will not lie to you. Because your season has been delayed. The enemy of your new season is called delay. Somebody type no more delay. No more Somebody delay. type it no more delay. No more the reason why your season keeps coming and going is because of the spirit of delay. Has placed and has placed a gap between you and your miracle. But after now, the Lord will close that gap. Amen. I pray for somebody tonight. The spirit of delay that has denied your season. I decree no more delay. Amen. Somebody hashtag war room. 
No more delay. No more delay. Somebody type no more delay. No more and delay. hashtag war room. If someone asks you why are you typing no more delay, go ahead and tell them that your season will not be delayed anymore. Amen. The Bible said in the book of John chapter number five, a man was by the pool from verses number two to verses number eight. The Bible said the man was there for 38 years. The spirit of delay was denying him his season. Others had a encounter their season. Don't forget, the man was having a problem and the problem limited him. There are some of you today, you have a womb but your your your, your, your conception has been limited. But the Lord had me to tell you, it is a spirit of delay that has denied your season of babies. It has denied your season of breakthrough. It has denied your season of testimony. It has denied your season of miracle. But the Lord had me to tell you tonight, I hear this very strong in my spirit uh, that delay will be lifted from your season. Uh. Hey, hey, hey! Delay will be lifted from your season. Uh. Somebody type it. Uh. Delay has been lifted from my season. Uh. Hey! Delay has been lifted. I am a number. Oh, and Levarosa. I see angels uh, lifting up delay from a woman's womb. Uh. Hey! I see the spirit of God uh, descending like, like an angel coming. Uh. I see the spirit of God releasing an angel down uh, to take delay off your season. I see delay is lifted. Uh. Somebody, I see delay being lifted from your womb. Uh. Ah, who is this lady? Who is this woman? I see delay being lifted from your season. I prophesy in my troops. God will give you a testimony that will look like a lie. Those that look down on you, God is about to shock you in my troops. God is about to shock you. You talk God is silent. You talk God cannot fight. You talk God cannot speak. You talk God is wasting time. You talk God will not talk. But the Lord have me to tell you, he said the season for him to speak has begun. The season for God to speak. I am man, no man, man, no praka, no ka, ebo flores. I hear the Lord say, I will speak to you back to back. Hey, back to back, back to back. E kopeli karosata. The Lord is saying, He says, delay has been lifted from this season. Oh God, oh my Father, my Father, who only hala melo brasi. I I feel an unction right now, woman of God. Now this is water on my hand now it takes a force like this to remove this yes, sir. from my hand now the lord is saying any things on some of you let's say this is your wound delay is on it mm. one year two years three years four years five years six years seven years there are some of you after you're giving back to one you are looking for another one now give back to two you are looking for another one the lord is saying i should tell you that delay that has been on oh yeah 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 the holy spirit just said to me there are some of some of them watch me delay has been placed on their name so that's why anything you are with anything you do you must wait Type it. Delay has been lifted from my name. The reason why you have not testified is because delay is sitting. Mm. Delay is sitting on your womb. Delay is sitting on your documents. Delay is sitting on your certificates. Ay, 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 ay. I said delay will be lifted tonight. Amen in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Who, who, are, who is sharing? I want to pray for those that are sharing right now. If you just share, share five times, let me pray for you. I need this message to go to people that are close to you. The Lord is saying, this is the reason why some people have not entered their system. Now, some of you are saying, oh, in, some of us in Nigeria, that time we're saying, uh, let, the, let the new president come. Let there be a change of power so that we can see whether Buari is the problem. Buari said, I am just a season that has passed. Now, we are still complaining this new season. Hey, hey, hey. Please, if you share now five times, ten times, 
Just tell me. Don't lie. Don't lie. Just tell me. Because somebody close to you must be reached by this message. I have a few minutes. I have a few minutes. If you have just shared it. Now, listen to me. The reason why some people have not received their healing mm. is because the spirit of delay is sitting on their miracle. Mm. That's why they keep going to hospitals. Hospitals. Why? There is a delay so that they will not testify, so that they will not be free. No wonder the woman said that. No, Jesus said that. Oh, this woman, the daughter of Abraham, which Satan has bound these 18 years. That means Satan can delay you and you will. I know, she was bound. Yes, she was serving in church. She was bound. She was still coming to church. You know, and you remember, the woman was coming to give. And just said, oh, it's not this daughter. So that means you can be a giver. And yet, you are still delayed. Oh, until it is lifted. The Bible said, and Jesus said, lose her and let her, let her go. That means it was something that tied her and bent her. What tied your womb is losing now? Amen. A woman hit your stomach. If you are trusting over the fruit of the womb, hit your stomach and say, What tied my womb? I just lose my womb now. Amen. What tied my womb? Just lose my womb. Amen. What tied my womb? Just got loose now. Type it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout it. What? Shout it where you are. If you are trusting God for a, the fruit of the woman, just type. Tap your tummy. Huh? What type my womb just lose my womb? Huh? What type my womb just got loose? Huh? That is it. What type my womb just got loose? If you are trusting God for the front of the womb. Now, please help me find the people that have shared. Let me pray for them especially before I go. I need to pray for If you have shared, look for them. Look for them. Those that have shared, I want to see them. I want to see them quickly. I want to pray for them quickly before I round up this. Thing. Because the Lord said delay has been sitting on people's miracle. I don't know the person that delay is sitting on his or miracle. The Lord helped me to tell you. He said delay is standing up for you. The force of grace is removing the delay from your life. Amen. The force of grace. Let me see those that have shared. Okay. I see um, Ego. Uh, Florence just shared now. I pray for you. Uh, oh God, Lord, I place my calling on the line. Uh, Lord, you say you confirm the words of your messengers. Uh, Lord, confirm this word I'm about to say uh, upon Florence Grace. Uh, is it Florence? Uh, Ego Florence or or me, or me. I pray for you, or me. I pray for you, Grace. Uh, 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 um, 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 Ego Florence. I pray for you by the grace of. God, I speak into your life. Whatever that is called delay around your name, around your life, it is lifted now. Amen. Enter Amen. your new season. Amen. Enter your new season. Amen. Please, I'm praying for those. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Just share now. I'm talking about those that I just shared now, not those I shared before. So if I'm calling your name, that means you just shared right now. Share five times, share ten times, just type now. That's how I'm feeling it. That's what I'm saying it. That's how I'm saying I mean to say. In uh, Hannah Benedita, you just shared. I pray for you. Whatever that looks like delay, whatever that looks like near success syndrome, you know, near success syndrome is is an application of delay also. Uh, when you are always close to something uh, and something else happens, uh, I pray for you right now. Ian Benedita, whatever that's placed delay uh, on your life, uh, on your papers, uh, on your documents, on anything that carries your name, uh, today uh, it is lifted. Uh, enter your new season. Amen. Who is the next person that just shared mm -hmm. now? Soromto Chuku Okeke. Father, by your mercy, whatever that has been making him go round. I don't know what that's, that's what I'm hearing now. The powers have been making you go round what you are supposed to enjoy. Hey, 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 hey. Soromto uh, Chuko Keke, hear this prophecy. Hear what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Because some of you, the Lord will going to be opening my eyes to see certain things about you. The Lord, I should tell you, uh, the power.
powers are making you go around what you are supposed to be enjoying. Uh, the powers of delay manipulating you to go around uh, what you should be enjoying. Today marks their end. Uh, Amen. I decree no power can stop this new season. Uh. Amen. So don't touch you, okay? Enter your new season. Leko uh. Pelia Sobra. Who's the next man? Who's the next person? Uh? Who is the next person that I've shared? Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Imachus. I think I see. Huh? Imachus, my father. My father, my father, remember him. Uh. My father, remember him. Uh. My father, remember him. Uh. Lord, I call you, oh Lord. Uh. I know you called me, so I call you. Uh. Lord, I call you on behalf of your son. Uh. Emmanuel Chuksa, my father, my father. My father, my father. Lord, Cause him to enter in the season where he would begin to forget yesterday. Yeah. Cause him to enter the season uh, that will make him forget yesterday. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ima, the Lord said to tell you, I will make you forget yesterday. Uh. Yeah. Oh my God, that's what I'm hearing in my for you. Uh. He said, I will make him uh, forget yesterday. Uh. Yeah. What made you cry yesterday? Uh. God said, He will make you forget it. Uh. Yeah. What you make you cry last year? Uh. God said, He will make you forget. Get it. Oh, Amen. I like that prophecy for myself. I claim it for my family. Lord, we will not what made us cry last year. Lord, make us to forget it. Amen. When God, hey, that was what happened to Joseph when he gave him Ephraim and Manasseh. He said, God has Manasseh means God has made me forget. What God has made me forget yesterday, forget where I'm coming from. Listen to me. God is gonna make you forget where you are coming. Forget Amen. everything you have gone through, Imam. Amen. Take this prophecy very seriously, Imam. Take it very serious. The Lord says to prophesy on everyone that is sharing now, 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 now. That's, this is very serious. He said, ah, yeah, yeah. Can, can somebody take this prophecy? Imam, you are blessed. Because I like this thing the Lord just said to you. God will make everyone that we type amen now. God will make you forget the tears of yesterday. Yeah? God will make you forget what you have gone through yesterday. Uh. I don't know what you went through uh, that made you cry. Uh. I don't know what you went through uh, that made you sad. Uh. God say, I will make you to forget. Amen. But don't make you forget your joblessness is because God wants to give you a job. Oh, God. When God wants to make you forget the years of your heartbreak, it's because God wants to give you a relationship that will not break your heart. Yes, hey, I decree, God will make you forget yesterday. Oh, oh, Oluwa Nishola Favor. Who is a new one? I like this name. Oluwa Nishola Favor. All right, that's my barista. That's my barista. Thank God. I don't understand. I just saw, I just saw the new name. I decree. Oh, Lazaba. Olushola. Oluwa Nishola. Okay, let me just say the way I'm seeing the way I'm seeing you type it. I don't know why I like this new name. The Lord said, I will do a new thing in your life. Amen. Oh God. He said, oh, ah! oh, hear this, hear this. Barrister, the Lord said, I will fold the old carpet. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. The rest of the spirit. I see angels rolling off a, an old carpet. Mm. Opening a new one. Hey! My God. That is what I see now. That's what I say. I see God giving you a new a new platform. That's it. A new ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I decree all things will be made new. Amen. 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 I decree all things will be made new. Amen. I decree God will do a new thing. Amen. God will do a new thing. Amen. Who have not? Who have I not prophesied on? Who have I not prophesied on that your shame? Woman of God, help me! Help me! I'm with you, sir. Please, if I've not called your name, it's not my fault. Blame my wife here. Ah. <laughs> so some of you just begin to type. I'm Ambassador Rukeren. I'm here. I have shared. Maybe that will be better. Please, I need to see those I've not prophesied on. Okay, me, 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 Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord.
I hear this song. Oh, yeah, yeah. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in my darkness, my God, that is who you, that is who you are, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who the Lord said I should sing that song by Shikhsenaj to you. Oye. The Lord said I should tell you. He said he's about to be the way maker for you and your husband. Mm. I don't know if Scott, your husband, is watching. The Lord said he's about to make a way even in the desert for you people. The Lord said he wants to show to you that he's the miracle worker this year. And the Lord said, I want to, the Lord said I should tell you, he wants to show you he's the promise keeper. And the Lord said this year, you will sing this same song. Because the Lord said he will make a way and he will show you is the promise keeper. The Lord said, every kind of darkness around you, he said, his light will shine in it. Amen. The way maker is the miracle worker, is the promise keeper. It will be your light in the darkness. My God, that is that is who is going to be to you. And I decree in this your new season, you will enjoy the true lyrics in this song. You will remember the Lord has said it on this day. Who else? Who else? Judith Chiwendu. Right? I've not prophesied you have shared. Everyone that shared, I want to pray for you before I go. Everyone that shared, please, if you did not share, don't tell me you shared. Don't lie. There's no need. You can connect to it, someone's prophecy. Hallelujah. I'm even surprised why would people watch and not share. That's the first offering. The first offering you should give online is sharing. All right? Now, I want to pray for you. Judith Chiwindu, and I, you're right? Yes, sir. My father. Thank you, Lord. I am so. Hmm. Judith. 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 <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you know what I hear for Judith? I hear Mr. M. Is it Mr. M and Revelation? Yes, sir. Mr. M and Revelation. And I, I, I just saw the both of them now. I saw the both of them standing. They are wearing white before me. And the angel that talks to me say, is I hear what they are saying? And the angel that talks to me say, hear what they are saying. Because I see Judith kneeling down crying. And all of a sudden, the angel of the Lord carried me to where Mr. M and Revelation are standing, wearing white. And I saw Judith wearing something that is like a rag. As they began to sing this song, I see an angel changing your clothes. Amen. It's a, it's a season where is a season of change. He said, I am going to change everything about you, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I hear them sing this song. Oh, 
Jesus, you are my only Lord. Oh, Ginya Kamo. Oh, Ginya Kamo. So, Gibo Ginya Kam. Oh, Ginya Kam. Jesus, you are my only the Lord said, this is your song for change. Amen. What I say to what I say to all, the Lord said, I should tell you, do the chiwendo is your song for change Amen. because this is the song the lord say is changing the filthy garment and give you the a change of remnant a change of garment Amen. god is changing your garment Amen. the garment of miracles the garment of testimony Amen. the garment of weddings Oh, I shared again. I, oh my God. You know, let me confess to the whole people watching. The Lord, sorry, not the Lord. My wife actually said, he said, I, got, I, I was so stressed. I think I didn't eat from morning till around when? After seven. That's when I ate today. So I was so weak. I was feeling dizzy. So my wife said, okay, do you know what? Today's the last Sunday. Just spend 30 minutes. And I'm seeing myself now spend almost two hours, right? I will apologize later, but this is what the Spirit of the Lord is doing. Okay, can I pray for Sandra Esoe? The Lord said, I should tell you that He will be your helper. Amen. Sandra Esoe, the Lord said, I should tell you He will be your helper. Amen. Because I hear the angels. Say, tell her to sing this song. My helper, oh, my helper. My helper, oh, my helper. Hey, there is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. The Lord said that you will have reasons to run to him for help this season. It says your season of help. Sandra Esoy. Sandra Esoy, I want you to type my season of help has come seven times because in the month of July, you will enjoy help. The month of July, you will enjoy help. What I say to what I say to all, if you can connect to this prophecy, go ahead and connect. Go ahead and connect. He said, is your season of help. Sandra Esoy is your season of help. Thank you, my father. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh Hey, oh no, can I tell you what the Lord is saying? Mm. Oh no, I don't know why the Lord is taking me through songs for people tonight. Oh no, the Lord asks, so I should ask you this question. I hear the angel say, I should ask you this question. Who can battle with the Lord? I'm asking you the question on those. Who can battle with the Lord? Oh, my God. Oh, la hala la ha ve la ba shoda. On us, the Lord said, I should, who, okay, you said nobody, right? I hear... The angel that talks to me sing this song. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. The Lord said, it is the season where he will defend you. Oh, God. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are you are entering the season or you have entered a season where he will defend you. 
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What I say to one, I say to all, a prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. Now, let me say this to you. The Bible said the woman with the issue of blood had an issue for 12 years. And Jesus was on his way to see a little girl that was 12 years old also. You know, something about connectivity brings your collection. How connected you are to a man of God and how connected you are to a program and brings your collection out. The Lord helped me to tell you, it's the season where he will defend you behind you. Oh my God, I'm blessed tonight. I think I need to watch this broadcast again because I'm being blessed myself. The Lord will defend you behind you. It's the season where God will defend you. Who have I not prophesied on? Please, I'm going to close this meeting exactly 11. So please, if you have not shared, that's why I've not prayed for you. Because you have not shared, that's why I've not prayed for you. So if you have shared, I need to pray for you. If you have shared, just that I have shared. Ola balade. Olu, olu. One favored. The Lord said, I should tell you that your name will not be tarnished. That anyone that dares to tarnish your name will have him to answer. That's what I just heard. He said, Your name will not be tarnished. Kobale Zabadia, Impondila Brahazibra, Alabadubashidabra. Isiche amaka labendo pelebra azeba. The Lord will help you. Isiche amaka. The Lord will help you. I said the Lord will help you. Hmm. Thank you, my father. I hear the angel that talks to me. So I should tell you. Good speed is coming. Good speed. Good speed. The Lord says, I should tell you, Isichi Amaka, what you taught and what they think will be different. I don't understand this. What you taught and what they think the difference will be released. And I decree the difference that will be released will, the, will be the thought of the Lord for you. The Lord says, I should tell you, isn't you, Amaka? That the thought it thinks towards you is stronger than the thoughts they are thinking about you. That the thought the Lord thinks towards you is more greater I pray for you. The Lord thought for you are taught for good. The thought of peace. The Jeremiah 29 is 11, right? That's Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Or Jeremiah 11, 29. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. That's it. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. That's the scripture. That's what I'm saying. The thoughts I think towards you. Now, Isi Chamaka, be careful what you think. Because the Lord is saying the power of your thoughts can either bring the difference or make a difference. Do you want the God of heaven to bring the difference or make a difference? Because I'm hearing bring the difference and make the difference. Because the Lord said, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 is about to happen to you. Is it because the thought he thinks towards you Oh, Libra. I'm here. The Lord said, Tell her to be careful what she thinks. He said, Her thoughts, her thoughts are like a tailor zeba. Look at what the Lord is saying to an angel today. He said, Her thought is like a trigger. Amaka, you hearing? Isiche Amaka, if the Lord said, Your thoughts are like triggers. So if you take negative, you are shooting out a bullet. 
So the Lord said, your thoughts are like triggers. He said, the thoughts he is thinking towards you are thought of good. Can I have Jeremiah 29 level? Quickly. You, ECJ, give me Jeremiah 29 level quickly. Bring it up. Bring it up. ECJ, if you bring to Jeremiah 29 level up quickly. My God, thank you. All right. Who have I not prophesied? I think I, miss, I saw some people say I've not prophesied on them. I need to prophesy on you quickly. I need to prophesy on you quickly. I think I need to connect to the prophecies. Sorry, you need to connect to everybody's prophecy tonight. You need to prophesy, connect to everybody's prophecy tonight I'm prophesying. All right? Because I'm being blessed by this. Because the Lord said, even you, be careful about your thoughts from now. Because your thoughts are triggers. Every human thought is a trigger. If you think good, good comes to you. If you think bad, bad comes to you. So the Lord is emphasizing on this. And I think I need to connect to this. Your thoughts are triggers. Your thought is a trigger. Your thought is a trigger. Somebody can type in, my thought is a trigger. So what you think is actually what the message you pass out, the message you shoot out. All right? So you need to be very careful. Uh, I think I saw the Gladys. Is she around? Is she still here? Oh, Paula, my thoughts, my thoughts is a trigger. Yes, whatever you think is a trigger. You are sending a message out. Uh, I, I think I, I think I saw a Gladys. Okay, yes, Gladys. The Lord said I should tell you. Is a season of rest. They tell her to relax. Tell her to rest. Gladys, the Lord said I should tell you to rest. Thank you, my father. Jeremiah 29, 11, not 28. Jeremiah 29, 11. 29, 11, not 28, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. The Lord said I should tell you, Gladys, rest. Because you are entering your season of rest. Laba Zagaba. Hmm. That's what the Lord said. I should tell you, Gladys, rest. You are entering your season of rest. The Lord said you should try to be resting because when the rest comes, make sure. Now, God cannot walk outside your thoughts. Now, when I tell you rest, is your season of rest, is now left to you to believe is your season of rest. Like I said, your thought is a trigger. The Lord said you are entering your season of rest. The Lord said you're entering your season of rest. All right? God bless you. Now, Kingsley Wonder. Hmm. Good. That is the scripture. Now, Isiche Amaka, this is what the Lord said you should run with this year. There are many parts of this year. That this is what you should run with. Know this scripture very well because he said your thoughts are triggers. Are you hearing me? He said, look at what he's saying now. So whatever you think outside this now is your business. It's not your prophet's business. It's your business. He said, Isiche Amaka Irene. He said, for I know the plans I have for you. So any other plans you are thinking is not of God. It's the plans of the devil. So if you are thinking negative, don't blame God. Don't blame even your prophet. I know what I'm saying, don't blame your prophet. He said, the plans are plans for good, not for disaster. So if you are thinking something bad, it's on yourself. Like I said, your thought is a trigger. Your thought is a trigger. All right? Everything I'm saying to somebody, please claim it. Hallelujah. Kidnapping is allowed. All right? You can kidnap somebody's prophecy if you want to. Uh -huh. So if the person is not believing it, the person is not taking it, you can kidnap it. It's permitted here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give to give you a future and a hope. So God is giving you a future. So anything the devil is showing to you is not the real thing. So what I'm saying to her, I said to all, all right? Kingsley Wonder, hear what the Lord said. I think that's the only last person I need to prophesy on, right? Kingsley Wonder. I think that's the last person I've not prophesied on. For those that have shared, it's an instruction. So if you obey the instruction, 
that's where I can pray for you. Kiss the water, did you share? Answer me quickly. I'm closing up this broadcast by uh, Angel Manze, did you share? Did you share? So that's the instruction. Everybody must share. Kinsley, not yes, sir. Did you share? Kinsley, quickly. All right, Angel Manze, I'm going to pray for you now. Just let me talk to Kinsley because I have had God say I should tell him something. All right, Kinsley, what time is it there now? Kinsley, what time is it there? I know you are in, in you, you are in, um, I have about five minutes to prophesy on everyone I've not prophesied on. So, Holy Spirit, help me here now. I need to keep to this time. Now, what time is it there? Quickly, quickly, Kinsley, quickly. What time is it there in general where you are? Please, when I call your name for prophecy, be very fast. Be very fast, please. Okay, 11.55. All right. Now, hear what I hear. Kinsley, at midnight, from today, from today, Kinsley, every day till you guys resume season, the Lord, the angel of the Lord said, I should tell you, Come out at midnight. Come out where at midnight. Start jogging your ball. Have you ever done this before? As you are jogging your ball, say, Lord, as the new season comes in my football career, may I be needed by all. May I be favored by all. Are you hearing me now? As you are jogging the ball, may I be needed by all? May I be favored by all? May clubs need me. May clubs favor me. Are you hearing me? That's what the law say. The law says, I should tell you, you are entering the season where you'll be needed, where you'll be favored by all. That is the instruction. Call me after this broadcast, Kinsley. Call me after this broadcast. I need to make sure I emphasize that instruction on you because the Lord said when the new season comes in this your football career the Lord will shock and surprise you in German they tell me I want to pray for you the Lord says I should tell you congratulations if you are entering your season of congratulations thank you my father the Lord said you are entering your seasons of congratulations and you are entering a season where prophecy will not be delayed anymore. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Tell my angel, my God, he said, you are entering a season of congratulations and a season where prophecies will not be delayed anymore. I love this one. I don't know if you like this. Just type it. If you are connected to this prophecy that I'm giving to you, God's child, God's Beloved daughter of Zion, in the marriage of Thelma, he said you are entering the season where prophecies will not be delayed. Listen to me. There are people that their prophecy is delayed and hijacked. But you are entering, thus says the Lord, you are entering your season of congratulations and the season where prophecies will not be delayed. Congratulations to you. Now, who's the next person? Who's the next person? Shay, Shay, my father, thank you. Ah, 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 ah. She, glory to God. I love this one. The Lord said, you are entering a season where your books of remembrance will be visited. He said, and as your book of remembrance will be visited from the month of July, he said, God is going to send people that will read your books. He said, all this while, I am seeing books of what, hey, look at what I'm seeing, Shay. I am seeing the end of the Lord took me to a room, and I'm seeing plenty books, and I see your names on all the books. 
And I asked the angel that talks to me, I said, what are all these books here? He said, nobody has come to read. Hey! He said, nobody has come to read. He said, the books has been there, but nobody has opened them to read. He said, you are entering the season where your books will be read. He said, you are entering the season where your books will be read. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, your book of remembrance will be read. He said, your book of opportunity will be looked into. La coupe la racia. He said, Hear, yeah, hear yeah, what the Lord is saying to me. He said, The Lord is saying to me, the angel that talks to me, he said, That was how Mordecai's book of remembrance was closed, and nobody could read it. I, until the king had the dream. He said, There are certain people that will begin to be having dreams about you. Why? As they have dreams about you, they will open your book of remembrance. What I say to what I say to all, who is the next person? I need to prophesy on. I think now is my wife. Now hear this. Hey, Ambassador Rukewa Obozwa. Thus says the Lord. Hmm. The Lord said, "Your helpers will not be unplugged anymore." I'm seeing a switch in the realms of the spirit that somebody keeps unplugging you from the mind of your helpers. The Lord said, I should tell you, Ambassador Rukewa Obozwa. Oh my God. He said, You will not be unplugged anymore. He said, You will stay connected to helpers from now. He said, You will have helpers around you, and the helpers will stay connected. Huh? He said, Get ready for fresh helpers. Huh? He said, But the helpers that are coming will stay connected. Huh? He said, It will not be unplugged anymore. That's what I hear. Oh my God. I need to play for. Elvina Howie. I think I've not prayed for you. Elvina Howie. The Lord said I should tell you, you should, you should put, fix your eyes on him. He said you should look unto him. He said because you are very distracted. He said, how is it Elvina Howie? He said you are very distracted. He said you are very distracted. You are very troubled. He said, because the trouble around you is much. You are carrying so much burden. He said, you should look unto him. He said, because no one that looks unto him ends up in shame. He said, I should tell you, you are entering the season of no more shame. Ah! I said, you are entering the season of no more shame. What I say to her, I say to all, uh, you are entering of a season of no more shame. Congratulations, everybody. I believe I prophesied on everyone that shared tonight as the Lord gives me um, um, an utterance to, to speak. Uh, and I decree what I've said to everyone, uh, may God hasten to perform it. Uh, in the name of Jesus. God bless you, Emmanuel. I'm, I'm so excited to see you online. I'm super excited. Emmanuel, I'm saying it from my heart. Oh no, I like that. Congratulations to me too. Woo! I love tonight. I love tonight. Congratulations, Apostle Rukewe Obozwa Esther. God bless you. God bless you, Shay. I'm telling you, I, I'm still seeing that books. And this, your names were written boldly. What's the meaning of forlorn show? Shay, what's the meaning of forlorn show? I want to close, but I also forlorn show. In that book, I was seeing forlorn show. And I asked the Lord, is this his name? He said, as you find out, what's the meaning? What's not for law and shop? Quickly, she give me that answer. I need to go. For law and shop. For law and shop. For law and shop. Because the Lord is about to cover. The Lord is about to protect. God should Oh, ooh, I like this because I, I, I was because what as I saw the other and I also for long show that means God is about to look. God should look after this. Ah, yeah, I love this. God's guidance. Thank you, ma. God's guidance. God's guidance. God should. Look. The Lord is saying He's going to look out. Look. Oh my God. You know there are certain prophecies that God will now 
make sure he, he takes care of it by himself. Congratulations. The God of heaven, God will watch over you. God will see to it that your books must be open and be read. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Father, we thank you for everyone tonight. Thank you all. My God, this is a night I wish everyone can just connect to every prophecy that was given to them. I'm not saying you should pay for the prophecy, but please, this is how to connect. The Bible says, he that watereth shall be watered. Blessed is the hand that gives, not the hands that take. I've been giving out. But please, if you are led to bless this man of God, why not the account that is are there? The Lord will bless you. The dollar account is there. The naira account is there. Make do of any of them. The Lord will bless you. And please try your best to stay connected to our YouTube channel. It's active right now. Make sure you connect to it. And please, my line is always open. Make sure you connect. If you want to call me, go ahead and call. Send me a message on WhatsApp. I'll, I, I reply messages. The Lord will bless you all. Thank you so much for tonight's broadcast. It was a blessing to me. I never believed I would have the strength to be up like this till this time. This can just be God. And I've never enjoyed hearing this God of heaven like this tonight. The Lord, I should tell you all, he said he will confirm the words of his messengers by his mercy. He said, by my mercy, that's what I hear. He said, tell them by my mercy, I will confirm every word you have said. And I'm looking forward to um, your prophecies, confirmation via testimonies. I'm waiting to hear your testimony. I want to say this to everyone that's going to be giving to them. The Lord bless you. As you give to this man of God, may God give you what you cannot give yourself. As you connect with a seed to every prophetic word that came from his mouth to my ears. And I say from my mouth to God's ears, Lord, for everyone that will bless me, your servant tonight, me, Lord, bless them. Lord, everyone that we give tonight, give to them. Give to them. Lord, this week, open their eyes to see where they will make money. Oh, I like that one. Somebody type that one. Lord, open my eyes to see where we make money this week. Open my eyes to see who will favor me this week. You need that prayer. The Lord will bless you this week. Thank you all for watching tonight. Thank you all for those, my special people that shared. Now, this week, we are going to be having so much um, so much to do. Don't forget, Operation Jabez is coming. Where we pray um, three days to the end of the month. So I'm trusting God. We are going to be having afternoon programs. I'm telling you, we're going to be having our lunch hour programs from this week. Because I'm going to be connecting to so many things. I'm telling you, God will open your eyes to see where you will make money, who to call. I'm telling you, God, people are going to call you this week. Mimi, Mili, get ready. Mili, Mili, get ready. I see a call that will bring money this week. You will call me and testify. Yes, this week in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. I'm super excited to be your pastor tonight and your prophet tonight. And I trust God that everyone that has blessed me will be blessed. I'm telling you, as you bless this man of God, you will be blessed. And I celebrate you all. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your first offering, which was sharing. That's your first offering. And the second offering is where you give your substance. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless your substance. The Lord bless where the money came from. This week, you will not be stranded. Oh, thank you. The Lord says somebody will not see shame. Somebody that, I don't know, you will not be disgraced or embarrassed because of death this week. The Lord said you will not be disgraced or embarrassed because of death you are owing. As you give tonight, you will not see shame this week. I don't understand what I see. I see somebody owing. I don't know if it's rent. The Lord said I should give this token that this will speak for you this same week. And you testify that when you give to the man of God, there was, I don't know, this person's rent issue. They are supposed to pay for house or something, rent. I don't understand. But the Lord said, this is going to wipe shame away from you. 
As you give, the Lord bless you. The Lord will confirm a miracle in your life this week in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. I want to bless you all. This week is a new season for you. I decree this week we usher you into new things and you will have reasons to testify this week in Jesus' name. God bless you. Your seeds are blessed. Your offerings are blessed. Your, 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 your sacrifice is accepted in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. These people are blessed. Open their eyes to see what the natural eyes cannot see this week. Do for them what they cannot do for themselves. Let your name be praised in Jesus' name. Glory to God. You are protected. You are preserved, and the Lord will provide for you this week. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Why not we share the grace of God and the sweet fellowship? Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Till I come your way again, keep enjoying this new season you've entered. It's a new season. Congratulations. Shalom. Thank you, my father.